So we've got all of our rings installed in our piston. It's time to put them in our engine for the last time. We did go ahead and put our degreeing wheel on. It just makes it easier for us to turn um, the crank over. Now as we get ready to install these pistons, there are a few things we want to make sure we do. Obviously, this is the final assembly of the pistons in the block, so we're going to lubricate everything for the final time. We're going to use our Royal Purple Max Tough for the uh, rod bearings, and then we're going to, we've got a special lubricant that's just for piston rings that we're going to use. If you don't have this or can't find it, you can use motor oil to lubricate the piston rings, but uh, we do have this, so we're going to go ahead and use it. Um, we also have, here's our cap. <clears throat> we did go ahead and put our lubricant on for our ARP bolts. Your set of uh, bolts should come with a lubricant packet from ARP. That just helps to make sure that you get the accurate torque uh, as you install them. So we did go ahead and do that with all of our bolts. We're going to go ahead and do our bearings, our cam bearings. Just make sure we have a good film all the way around the bearings. And then we're going to use our piston ring lubricant. You're going to want to put some on the rings. And then once you get the lubricant on the rings, you're going to want to spin them in the grooves, rub it around, make sure that the ring is completely covered in the lubricant because you don't want the metal on metal fatigue of it rubbing against the cylinder wall so you're going to want to make sure it's getting lubricated. I've done the compression rings, I'm going to go ahead and do the roll rings now. Spin them around in the groove. And you're going to, again, want to recheck your clocking before you actually do the final install of the piston in the block because all of the spinning around may line up your grooves and you don't want that. Now you see, I've got a lot on my hands. I'm going to go ahead and rub the skirts down with what I've, all the excess that I've already got on my hands and on the piston itself because the skirt could come in contact as we're installing these two. We want to make sure it's properly lubricated. So now we've got everything ready on this piston to go ahead and put in our block. So now we've done our final check on our clocking before this piston's ready to go in. Everything's lined up the way it needs to be. We've got our Proform ring compressor. We're going to go ahead and install the piston into the compressor. This just compresses the rings down to make it uh, go into the cylinder head properly. You want to push it in to where the skirt's hooking out of the bottom. Like that, because the skirt will help us line it up on the cylinder itself. Now we're ready to pop in our piston. You're going to want to catch the bottom end so that the rod doesn't damage the crank or the cylinder walls. If you bind it up, you're going to want to have on hand a, a piston hammer. Just take your time, don't put too much on it. Just let it ease in. And it's on. Now we have our first piston in. We'll go ahead and put the cap on, uh, hand tighten the bolts onto it, and we'll move on to the next pistons.